What is going on guys? Joey from the Flex Training Systems and I have been really busy the past couple days and I just threw up a hey tell me what to make a video on real quick and you guys gave me some good topics actually. Um, I might record two videos today and pump them out over the weekend but we'll see. Anyway, um, one of the questions was how do you let social media not <laughs> devalue you know, yourself as a, as a person and a lifter? Um, it was an interesting question because to me, it's like, there are very valuable people that don't use social media. So I, you know, I just, uh, I understand where this question comes from. I understand the mindset. A lot of you guys are really young, right? You want to, you want to prove something. You want to show people what you can do. You want to be, you know, relevant, right? You want to be at the top. And when you feel like you're putting in a lot of effort and you're not getting that in return, um, I, I, I mean, I, I can tell you that I know people that have put in the effort and found a way to make it work. Um, there is a little bit of, it's not even really luck. It's like you need to have something, you need to have it in quotes, right? And then you need to just be consistent. Um, there's a lot of different re it's, it's, at the end of the day, I think it's about adding value, right? If you're adding value to something, um, then people will want to follow you. So either one, you're literally making like, like good informative content. Um, two, you are a source of inspiration in some way. Maybe you're like, you have incredible aesthetics. Um, you're incredibly strong. You're at the top, you know, five, top five, whatever. You're just a really strong lifter and that's going to inspire people. Um, you're funny, right? You do things that are genuinely funny, like genuine, th that's very hard to do to like genuinely be actually funny and authentic. Um, you know, you got to just have some kind of substance. You got to have, there has to be something to you. And I just turned into a social media coaching course, but you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, let's say you don't have any of those things, right? You're just like kind of reserved and you know, you lift and, and, and you're productive, but like, you're not really known on social media. So like that has nothing to do with your value. Okay. Your value as a person, in my opinion, is determined. Like, how do you interact with other people? Are you kind to them? Do you, you know, are you a good friend? Are you a good son? Are you a good, you know, dad? Are you a good uh, pet owner? Are you a good, you know what I'm saying? Like a good student. You can be a good person in life and not use social media, you don't lose value as a person because you don't have a lot of followers. You know what I mean? Now to a company that doesn't give a shit about anything but making money, yes, they're gonna care about numbers. They're gonna want big numbers. They're gonna want pull. They're gonna, they're, you know, the people that draw the most people in, in a lot of um, professions get paid the most, right? That kind of makes sense, right? If, if, if you get a promo code with a company, and you have fucking diehard fans that really love you, you're going to make a lot of money, right? You're going to make a lot of money. I know this because I work with lifters that make a lot of money because they have a lot of fans. They have, they're not even power lifters. They just have, you know, they're, they're, it's like good company, good reputation, you know, fun person, you know, source of inspiration, um, which provide, which adds value, right? That's why people follow them. Somebody they want to be like, right? They're going to make more money in that. So you have to kind of decide, like, what do you want? You aren't, you're not a bad person because you don't have followers. You're not a bad person because you don't get attention, right? That like there, some of my favorite people are super quiet. <laughs> they're just like very, you know, they're just like, they're super chill. They're fun to be around. Like you could be yourself with them. They're not out here trying to, you know, do all kinds of stuff. Now there are some people that are, uh, that are out here that are really making waves on social media, but that's kind of like what they're, they're just good at that, right? They, t they do that very, very well. And it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter that if, if like as a person, you are not, you do not, you are not worth less as a person because you don't have clout. Not everybody could have clout. It just doesn't work that way. Right. You it, like, you can still be a very vital, you know, person, um, in, in many people's lives and not have a shit ton of following, right? I have a, I have a decent following, right? I'm not, I'm not even, I don't really post on my page that much. I'm always active in my stories, 
But, you know, I provide value to people and I'm, and I'm thankful that I got into something where my number one pressure is not, there is some social media pressure where I, I do need to be around here and there, but I don't need, it's not like my main thing. I just got to win, <laughs> just win and provide, add value. You guys that have been listening to me for literally years, obviously you're still here because I provide value, right? Um, do I walk around and go, oh, like, you know, I'm better than this person, I'm better than that person? No, I'm not like that. I'm very, th- I wake up every day extremely thankful for all my opportunities. Uh, I'm very thankful for the amazing team that I've built, um, the amazing people on the team that chose me to help them, that put their faith in me, right? Um, without, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a team thing. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful every day for those things. I mean, somebody yesterday said I was the GOAT, right? You guys can say it all you want. I can't go around telling people that. Um, you know, it's, be- it's better when other people say it. Somebody said that to me. Um, does that mean I don't have a million followers? I, I sh- that doesn't mean I'm going to have like the most followers out of anybody. It's just, you get what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I think it comes down to the lifters. Um, they're the ones that really push the sport forward. I'm just kind of like a catalyst that can help amplify them. And really get their message out or take their traits and like make them bigger, make them better, things like that. Um, by, by putting them in positions where they can be successful. And that's how I add value. And like, I had, when was the last time you guys saw me post a lift? <laughs> right? It's been a while. Right? My lifting priorities are a little different at the moment. Um, but I still find ways to provide value. I still try to find ways to be useful. Right? You have to kind of ask yourself, what do you want? Um, you can't, you know, you can't just try to be like someone else on social media because people will see that and then you're going to end up being fake and they're going to call you out and it's just not good. You got to be yourself or don't even worry about it and just have it as a passive thing. If you feel happy with the PR, post it, right? You're going to build friends that way. You're going to build community that way. Um, you know what I mean? Like like like-minded people on social media will find each other and then they can, that's literally called social right? Media, right? That's how it works. Um, but the, 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 the value part, I don't know where, really where that comes from. Maybe some people have some sort of an insecurity where they weren't really popular in school and like social media is kind of like, it like reminds them of that. So they feel like, oh, like I'm not, you know, I'm not getting engagement. Um, you know, like nobody cares about me. Like, no, it's not like that at all. It's like, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it, but like I said, what you do in your day-to-day life as a person off the phone, right? You can be a good person. Like if, okay, I do a lot of shit that I don't tell people about. That's like, you could call it charitable, right? I might help a lifter with something or, you know, give, give something to someone that, that needs help or something. I'm not telling you guys about it constantly because I don't need to do that. It makes me feel good. And it doesn't, you know, I don't need to tell the world every time I do something like that. Um, I do believe like strategically, there are times when like, you know, companies might do that and there, there's a reason for it, right? Does it take away from the actual good? I mean, I don't know. You guys ever see those videos where like there's people in the grocery store and they're just like, like I'm gonna give 500 bucks to the first person that's nice to me or something. And that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a wholesome video. Yeah, they posted it, but that person still got 500 bucks. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it devalues that. But like I said, and that doesn't mean you're just an amazing person because you just give tons of money away. All I'm saying is how you treat people and how you make people feel and your contri- contributions like you know, to the world or to your family or to the people that count on you, that is way more important than just like looking a certain way on the internet. There's a lot of people that have a lot of clout and they're fucking dog shit people. Like they they fucking like terrible scammy scum people. I feel like it's gotten better over the years. It used to be way worse like 10 years ago, five, five and a half, uh, maybe six years ago. There's a lot of fake people. Um, But it's definitely gotten better. I feel like this, I'm genuinely optimistic in terms of like the, the next wave of kids. Don't get me wrong. There's still some shitty kids. There's still some kids that like they they literally, um, how do I say this? They have not dealt with adversity um, or been challenged or, um, I mean, for me, when I was in middle school, uh, high school, even younger than that, 
I was in martial arts from when I was five years old to 13. Played a lot of basketball. We got in a lot of fights. I've been hit in the face a lot. Um, you know, that, build, that builds a lot of character, right? That humbles you, right? Uh, you know, a 3v1 on the basketball court is not a fun situation. But you come out of that, you get better. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's you know, it's sometimes like you just, you got to always understand like, like, this is why I try to always be, um, it's, it's, yes, I am going to, I am going to be very happy with my accomplishments and I am going to share them and I will, I will gas myself up sometimes, right? And be like, yo, man, what the fuck we did? I, hey, we did some impossible shit. I'm going to tell you guys the last couple years at Worlds, how many fucking people we roll up with? That is very hard to fucking do coming from one entity, Right. And I'm going to say that because it's fucking like, who, no, no one else is doing that. Whole fucking organizations with all these teams and dudes with clipboards and shit. You got little old Joey and a couple of flex coaches. We're out here handling business. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'll gas up for that. But I always know, you know, it could end tomorrow. Somebody you care about, something could happen to them. What it, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like you could, your health might fail you. Um, you might lose a pet that you love. You might lose a loved one. Your girl might leave you for no reason. Just hor- the horrible shit can happen at any moment. You know what I'm saying? It, and, and it's going to really affect your ability to like do the thing that you're best at. That's why I'm just always thankful for those happy moments. I think, I think to like the highest points in, in sport that I've been a part of, and I am so fucking thankful of them and they have defined me as a person. And I'm able to take those incredible experiences and recreate them over and over and over again with like these amazing lifters. You get what I'm saying? And, and at the end of the day, just remember like your, your value is not determined. Your value as a person is not determined by your total. Your value as a person is determined by how you treat others, how you act, da, 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 this and that. Now, if you have a big total and you're a shithead, you're going to be alone. Like you're going to be very alone. You're going to be like in a box like by yourself, everybody's going to hate you, but you're going to have a big total. And nobody wants to live like that because humans are not wired to do that. We're wired to like be in families and groups and, and enjoy things together, share things with each other. I had somebody tell me once many, many years ago, and I never forgot this, that happiness is only true when it's shared. And I fucking always, I mean, I'm, I'm a very independent person. I like doing shit by myself a lot. Um, like I'm, I'm weird in that like, let's say all the homies are, are like somewhere close by doing something fun. I'll just stay home and like, I don't even want, like, I might not even want to go, even though there's no reason for me not to go just cause I'm like, oh, I'm perfectly content being home. Like, I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Um, but when I do go to those things, it is really fun and it does feel fulfilling and it is cool. And I do like to see people, right? I'm just weird that, that I'm a very independent like that, but I don't know. Um, I hope you guys are get what I'm saying. There's, there's a lot of different ways to add value to other people's lives. And, and if, if you, you shouldn't feel bad about yourself, if you're a good person, but nobody knows about you like that, right? It, it, I know, I know it's a byproduct of social media, but you got to just like, just take a step, like step out of your own body and look at yourself, look at your life and be like, am I a good son? Am I helping people? Did I get better today? get better today, right? Did I move forward in some way? Did I help somebody? You know, when was the last time I helped somebody? When was the last time I did something for myself, right? If you're doing, if you're doing those types of things, in my opinion, you know, that, that is worth more. You know, there's a lot, I'm thinking of a lifter right now. Nobody knows about this guy, but he is the nicest dude, man. He is so nice. He has always been a good person to work with. He's been super chill. You know, he's always supported the team. And he's not known, like nobody even knows about him. But my interactions with him, like my interactions with the lifters, like one-on-one, I deal with so many of you guys, like on a personal level even. And just knowing what you guys are going through and seeing you guys like persevere, or maybe you don't, maybe you're not sure what you're going to do. And then I give you that talk, right? And then that helps you get through. And then maybe in a couple months you say, thank you. Fuck, man, I could do that all day. Like that's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? That is meaningful. No one even needs to know about that. Nobody needs to know about that. It has nothing to do with social media. It has nothing to do with your total. I don't give a fuck where your total is. I just want us to move forward, right? If you have shit genetics and we increase your total by five pounds on every lift, you know, a year, maybe two years on the bench, 
hey man, as long as like we're optimized and you're and that's all you can do because that's all your body got. You got a crazy life. You got a hard construction job. Fuck it. You're putting in the work. You're doing what you got to do. You're doing the best with what you got, and that's all you can do at the end of the day. Are you a good person? Are you trying to get better? Are you adding value to people's lives? That means a lot more than a total, you know, clout, all that stuff. Clout is great. Clout's cool. You know, it can feel good, whatever, this and that. But at the end of the day, um, there's a lot of people with clout that are very shitty and not good people. And there's a lot of people with clout that are amazing people. And they're just incredible. And they always take care of everybody around them. And, and they're, you know, they deserve all their blessings, right? So, and that's the thing. That's the thing. Sometimes those people are my friends. And I see them get hate and I don't like that because I know how good they are behind the scenes. I know the things that they do, the lives that they've changed, that they have changed behind the scenes. And, it, and, it, and it's, it's just not good. You never know what somebody's going through. Anyway, I hope you guys are able to take something away from this video. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.